I was here in, uh, in the 1980s when I was in high school, Michael Benner say, there's no blame. And, and then that's really, really important. I think that's what's wrong with the whole criminal justice system, the courts, law. That's what the, the situation is speaking to me. Because it's blame based, it's punishment based. What do you do? You punish people, you get them into jail, you get evidence to, to or you get evidence to sue. That's the whole thing. You get evidence to jail or sue, you do that. And what good, what good does that do? It doesn't correct anything. And then people, because they don't want to be blamed, they don't want to close up and don't reveal what, what's wrong. Which is what you would need to do if you want to correct something. And you can't look at what's wrong if the person blocks the communication in order to block revealing what's wrong, which is behavior that the police are trained to do, that they consistently, anything you say, they say, the moment you point at something's wrong, they're trained instantly, they say something irrelevant to cover it up. They do that systematically, methodically. Do you understand? It's wrong to punish people for something that's wrong as a deterrent to stop them from doing it because it doesn't correct the underlying cause of it and that's what you need to do and to see the underlying cause people need to feel safe to reveal it and they won't do that if they're afraid of being caught and so this whole scam is based on that it's paid to frame someone to sue them to 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 uh, frame someone to provoke a response that you can use to blackmail to sue that's naturally would come out of that uh, you know punishing thing because the people who do that would want to would want to get back and say what well, them knows a society use the very thing that's wrong and, and, and emphasize it by doing what they did to me so by by using the tenant protection law that, that I can't get her evicted get her out and if I leave she's being the, the criminals and makes the whole house a criminal um, you know center hub for all these criminal activities she brings all these people in that are the criminals using the the right of the visitors to bring the tenant to bring visitors right which the police keep enforcing even despite the judge saying he would she would protect me from that with the restraining order. So they keep denying the restraining order. They keep denying the violations. They keep protecting the right because then that her, them supporting her, triangulating together to push back me to a corner to provoke a response, to frame me into doing something that they can either arrest me, or shoot me or sue me or blackmail me. That's what this, this thing is, the police helping that to happen. If all the steps they take to make that happen, to, to, to isolate me, to, to uh, drive away my friends, to, to slander me, to, to, you know, all the stuff going on. And so in that one video, that uh, lady cop who's, who I had investigated for threatening me, and I'm speaking to that guy, and he, she keeps saying stuff to block it, and then three times she comes to the guy, once whispering behind his head, and she goes behind me saying something with hand gestures to them. She comes back again, makes me think they keep provoking me to do something. After a year and a half, I haven't done anything. Uh, the the scammer puts on black eye makeup, says she's been hit. And she says, what does it have to be for him to be injuring me? And all of this stuff is on video. I'm, put it right here on, in the in the um, in the description here she keeps telling that he got something in, in his hand why I'm thinking she's telling him to shoot me that's what I